Can we go to Revelation chapter 21, verse 8? To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death so has this already happened already no so this is something to come some people say that works will not save you and it really depends on what you mean by that works alone yes works alone I believe will not save you I believe some people may say only faith faith in Jesus Christ and what he has done for us will get you saved and what about this scripture though I believe much or all of this is based upon what you do so works do matter right so I would say what makes you save or keep you saved I guess I can say is faith and works I have a question if you believe faith alone will keep you saved are you telling me all you have to do is believe in Jesus Christ that he is your Lord and Savior that he died for your sins so are you telling me all you have to do is believe in that and you can kill two people every day for the rest of your life then go to heaven afterward are you telling me that all you have to do is believe in Jesus Christ and you can rape five women or five men a day for the rest of your life and you will go to heaven are you telling me you can rob a bank every day and as long as you believe in Jesus Christ and all that stuff I said earlier about you believing in Jesus Christ and that he died for your sins are you telling me you can rob a bank every day and you will go to heaven afterward are you telling me you can abort a baby every year for as long as you can and not repent of it, not confess your sins to God, not change from your ways? Are you telling me that you can abort a baby as many times as you like, not repent of it or whatever? And just because you believe in Jesus Christ and all that stuff there, you will go to heaven afterward once you die? I believe that is a perversion of the Bible. If I am singing that correctly I believe that is sick thinking I believe there is one more than one verse that speaks about if you do something that is against the rules of God 
I believe there are more than one verse in the Bible that speaks about if you do these things, you will not go to heaven. So God does care about what we do. Yes, we should have faith in God, yes. But what we do matters as well. And you may say, Kevin, I understand you, but I continue to mess up. I continue to sin, but I am trying to do what is right. Okay, continue to try to do what is right. If you, if you mess up, if you sin, repent of it. Try not to do it again. Confess your sins to God. God, God, please forgive me for all my sins. I am sorry. Please help me to stop doing whatever I am doing that is wrong. If there is any sin in my life, God, please forgive me. I believe there is a difference in a person. How can I say this? I believe there is a difference. If a person is trying to do what is right, then a person who is not trying to do what is right. Yes, they both are doing wrong, but I believe one is placing effort into trying to do what is right. And I believe if you are truly trying to do what is right, but you are messing up, I believe God will honor that. So don't feel condemned, I guess. If you are trying to do what is right, but mess up at times. Myself, I don't do everything right myself. I mess up too, but I am trying to do what is right even though I mess up. I think some people may believe Christians have no right to mess up, that they should be perfect and all this stuff here. We are human. And from my understanding, there is no human that is 100% perfect. So in saying that, try hard to do what is right. Resist temptation. Don't easily give in to temptation. Fight. So I hope this makes sense. God bless you.